gym class. Pepper and her friends are going to the gym today. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym, where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you. But you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> oh! Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done. What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once, I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs>
Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record. Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming, I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No. Yes. Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow. No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the puddle jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Oh, oh. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Peppa. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes! OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow! Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Peppa. Daddy Pig is the master! Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Peppa. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big 
puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. <clears throat> my lucky golden boots to be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa, remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady. Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Hospital. It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Pepper? I've hurt my knee. Whee! Madam Gazelle, Pepper has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Pepper. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Pepper's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes. Thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull, which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the lift. <laughs> children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A parrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great! What are the nurses like? They give me stickers! Wow! And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that, I wonder? Could it be Pedro? 
What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Peppa and her friends are playing in the playground. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Peppa. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. <laughs> it is morning. Yippee! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Hey, <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman! I'm cold! <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman! <laughs> Oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plough. Snow ploughs push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're all going on a seaside holiday. Seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, 
Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hamsters taught us. It is a school day. Children, Dr. Hamster has come to talk to us today. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster is a vet. Who knows what a vet does? <laughs> Vets help sick pets get better. That's right. And I brought some of my pets to show you. Ooh. This is Binky, the budgie. Hello, Binky. Can I stroke Binky? Yes, very gently. He feels fluffy. Those are his feathers. They help him to fly. <laughs> Flying is how Binky gets his exercise. Can you tell me what else Binky needs to stay fit and healthy? He needs to eat. Yes. He needs to drink. That's right. He needs to breathe a bit. Very good. He needs to sleep. Excellent. <sighs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. Yes, Madam Gazelle. I have got a pet here who loves sleeping. It's a tortoise. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. Tiddles has slept all through the winter. Ooh. Why has he got that shell thing on his back? That shell is his house. It's where he hides if he gets scared. Would you like to stroke him? Yes, please. <coughs> Don't be scared, Tiddles. How old is he? Tiddles is 33. That's as old as my mum. But tortoises can live for a hundred years. <coughs> That's as old as my grandpa. Why is he so slow? He has to carry his house on his back. Uh, Dr. Hamster, I think Tiddles is escaping. He can't go far. Because he is so slow. I've got someone else to show you here. Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur. Oh, it is. Is a dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! 
Tiddles. Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah, fire, fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back. Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are. Safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> the rainbow. Pepper and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Pepper. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Boo! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win! Hello, Candy! Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Pepper. Where? Oh, <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yummy. Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow.
Bimbo is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, muddy puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs> Play. It is a lovely sunny morning. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Daddy, aren't you going to work today? No, Peppa. It's Saturday. Daddy Pig doesn't work on Saturdays. Daddy Pig, you'll be late for work. But it's Saturday, Mummy Pig, isn't it? No. It's Thursday. Oh. Daddy Pig works on Thursdays. See you later. Bye-bye. <coughs> Poor Daddy having to work. Lucky Mummy, you can play at home all day. I'm not playing. I'm working on my computer. <laughs> George wants to play the Happy Mrs Chicken game. <coughs> George, we can play the Happy Mrs Chicken game after I finish my work. Oh. <coughs> Mummy Sheep and Susie have come to pick up Peppa for playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> have a good day at playgroup. Bye-bye, Mummy. Work hard. <laughs> Mrs Sheep, do you work or do you play? I'm going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work, that's play. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> oh, children, today we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me, me. Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No. But we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. No. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. <laughs> Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak! Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot. Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> It is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes, I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. <laughs> Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George, perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> Naughty Mummy, you're playing Happy Mrs Chicken. Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? <laughs> We've all finished our work, so let's all play. <laughs> <laughs> Baby 
Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? <coughs> is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's Baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember Baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, Baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. Whee! I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> Ugh, he keeps turning his head. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Peppa. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> That was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. Oh. <laughs>
It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! me. <sniffs> Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas Fair. Pepper and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. <laughs> Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, 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 of course! Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a toy. Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Peppa and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers. Snow is falling gently, Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Peppa and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs>